What's going on guys? Alex here with 814 EDC and today I'm ready to do my full review on the Tempest Knives Fractus Prototype. Um, now this is the latest and I think the greatest design from Casey over at Knives Fast aka Tempest Knives. Um, you guys all know and love Casey. He is a gem of a human being and he has really been pumping out some awesome knife designs uh, within the last I think he's been doing it for probably about a year and a half, two years or so, uh, maybe even a little bit longer. Uh, but this is the Fractus, his latest design. And like I said, I think that this is his best design to date. Um, I jumped in on the pre-order. Uh, I got a different variation from this one, but this prototype that I got in the review has me so excited for my production version to come in. Uh, it's probably my most anticipated knife of 2024. Uh, that's you know not an understatement. I am super pumped for it. Um, I was very, very excited to get the prototype in and it has done nothing but just, you know, boost my confidence in how much I'm going to love this knife when I get my version in. Um, but yeah, so this is part of the lefty pass around group. I think Casey has two or three, um, prototypes moving around. Uh, it was a pretty big group. A lot of us were really excited to get our hands on this. And I know a lot of us also pre-ordered the knife as well. Um, but just a beautiful, beautiful design. Um, everything about it I love. There's so many just little, you know, just tendencies of this knife that I'm just like, man, that's that's so good, that's so nice, uh, and things like that. But before we get into the review, um, Tempest Knives will be linked down below. You can't buy this, unfortunately, because the pre-order was early February, um, and they've all sold out. So you have to keep an eye on Tempest Knives' website, um, Tempest Knives' Instagram, and Casey's Instagram page. If I remember, I'll try to leave links to all three below. Um, I don't know. It was, a, it was a pretty limited drop. Uh, I don't know if Casey ordered extras for him to do a drop on his own, you know, after the pre-orders get in and he shipped all those out, or if he's planning on doing some maybe a blade show. I'm not 100% sure, but again, I will try to leave links to all three, uh, both Instagrams and his website down below if you guys are interested. I highly suggest going and checking out Tempest. Um, this is his fifth model, I think. So he had the... Mm, the Mach 51 was his first model that didn't really get off the ground. I think he tried doing a Kickstarter uh, and it didn't meet the requirements. So he, um, you know, that, that never really made it out of the starting gate. Uh, but then he had the, oh my gosh, I can't, why can't I remember? Hmm, I'm drawing a blank. I, I bought the knife too. Um, oh, it's going to bug me. I remember it had blue scales. Hmm. But it was that knife, and then it was the Microburst, um, which I currently still have. I love that knife, too. Uh, that's probably my second favorite knife from him. Then he did the Jetstream, which I did a full review on. Um, I like that knife. I just didn't pre-order it because I had some other stuff going on, and it wasn't my favorite design from him. And then he had the Fractus. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yeah, this is his fifth design. Man, that is going to bug the crap out of me. What on earth? Mm. that's really going to bug me. I'm going to have to go find that sometime because I don't know. Mm, I don't know. We're not going to lose, we're not going to lose any more time on it, but yeah. So uh, fifth design and I think it is best design. Um, so we're going to get right into the review with the materials. Um, so there are three different versions of this knife. I guess before we get into materials, um, there was the blue sky version. There was a silver lining version and there was a storm cloud version. Uh, this one is the silver lining version, so it's a bead blasted titanium frame with weave carbon fiber inlay and satin, oops, satin finished blade. Um, there was less than 50 of these ones available for the pre-order. Uh, the blue sky version is the one that I bought. It is bead blasted titanium frame with Arctic Storm fat carbon inlay and a satin blade finish. So basically the same exact knife, but instead of weave carbon fiber, you're getting Arctic Storm, um, which is like a blue and kind of black, gray, white, uh, fat carbon, which is really good inlay. Uh, and then you had the storm cloud version, which I was really tempted to get. It was between that and the, um, blue sky version. Um, oh, for the blue sky, there was less than a hundred available. And then for the storm cloud version, it was a black wash titanium frame with weave carbon fiber inlay and a black wash blade. So you have this inlay, but all the milling to all the titanium is black and the uh, blade is black. And it looked really, really good together. It was just, it was so good looking. Um, but the, uh, blue sky version was the one that first really caught my eye because the, um, fully blacked out version was kind of like a late addition to the lineup. Uh, and the blue sky really was, you know, my favorite. So I ended up going with that, but there was less than 50 available for the storm cloud version. So 
About 200 units were for sale for this, for the pre-order. So like I said, it was a pretty limited drop. Um, but yeah, so like I said, this is the silver lining version. If you have bead blasted titanium going around the carbon fiber, the weave carbon fiber, excuse me, um, Casey's typical Tempest pivot right there, which I love. Um, it's just so unique and so different, but I really, really like it. You have a frame lock with plenty of lock bar access. Uh, my phone's gonna, you know, strain to pick it up, but this titanium has a really nice micro milling done to it. Um, I love the way it feels. Uh, you have an S90V blade, which is really, really good. I'm, I'm loving the fact that Casey went with S90V. Tempest Nines logo right there. CPM S90V right there. Beautiful choil up front. Um, nice jumping here and here. You have a nice hole for deployment with a little bit of a fuller built in. Um, it's kind of Casey's patented, uh, you know, design he does with the hole. Uh, you have, uh, this is kind of a drop point, but I definitely see a little bit of spear point vibes to it. Nice thin edge, um, beautiful three and a half inch blade, which is bigger for me. So you guys know that I really must like the knife because I tend to stay, you know, lower than three and a half inch blades. Um, this is arguably the best pocket clip I've ever handled. Uh, it's a mill titanium clip, but you guys can see it is so thin and it mounts to the back of the knife so you can switch it to lefty. Um, and the fact, I mean, it's, you guys can see it's deep carry as hell. It goes to the butt end of the knife. Uh, it just works so well, has the right amount of tension to it. Um, arguably one of the best clips I've ever handled. Uh, yeah, so as for internal milling, there isn't any going on um, or specs. So it is an eight inch overall length knife, four and a half inch handle and a three and a half inch blade, uh, S90V blade, like I already said, uh, HRC is 58 to 60. Um, these are being made by Concept. I forgot to mention that. So Concept is the OEM on this. Um, scales are contoured and have di diagonal micro milling lines, like I said, but my phone's not gonna pick it up. Um, high flat grind, hole fuller opening, handle thickness of 0.47 inches, uh, 0.015 behind the edge. So real thin behind the edge. Comes in at 4.2 ounces, which honestly for a bigger knife, it doesn't feel like that. I definitely would think it would be under four ounces. Feels really good in the hand. Um, pivot is tooled on both sides for T8. Uh, riding on cage ceramic bearings and race washers. Um, all the screws are T6. Titanium hardware, uh, clip and backspacer are of course titanium. Um, so this clip is righty only, but there are lefty clips available. I think if, if, if you were lefty, um, you made like a note in the pre-order um, to have a lefty clip be included by it. And uh, yeah, there's some changes which we'll talk about at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, just a really, really cool knife, great materials. You guys already know, getting a five out of five, especially for the price point that we're gonna talk about later on, um, just absolutely fantastic. So uh, next up is the aesthetic, and this is getting an easy five out of five. I'm not even gonna, you know, dick around and talk about that and try to decide. Uh, to me, this, like, I just, I love the way, first of all, I love the blade. Again, it's a, it's kind of a drop point with a spear point little mixed in. I mean, I love the way the fuller goes. It's, it's like a cockpit, which is kind of what Casey designs stuff after. You know, it says right on his website, he loves all things speed, cars, boats, planes, things like that. So this always reminds me of a cockpit. Um, I just love the blade, love the fuller. Uh, it's just a beautiful design. I love the handle, the way it's shaped. Um, the inlay just looks fantastic the way it just, it fills up the handle perfectly with leaving just the right amount of titanium exposed. Uh, again, that clip looks fantastic, functions fantastic. I know we're not talking about functionality right now, it just looks. But uh, to me, this is the best design case is done, aesthetically looking. Um, closed, it looks really good, I think. Like it just, it's, it's, a, it's a perfect looking knife in my opinion. I really do think this is one of the best, best looking knives that I've seen in quite a while. So um, easy five out of five. Uh, next up is the action. Now this does have a pretty a pretty decent D10. It's not the stoutest, not the strongest, uh, but it's very adequate and it makes for a very you know good action nonetheless. Um, you guys can hear snapping back into place. Um, now I will say there is just a tiny bit of blade play, so it's not locked up super duper tight. But again, this is a pass around knife, so I'm not going to you know go in and lock tight it and try to do you know tinker with it. Um, it hasn't walked on me. You know this has been just like this ever since I've had it, and I've you know fidgeted with it and carried it quite a bit. Um, so it's not like it's been walking out and I've had to tighten it back up. Um, but nice big hole for deployment with the fuller you can also use. Uh, so thumb flick works really good. Um, now it's kind of a you know narrower, narrower hole. That's a tough word for Alex to say, I guess. Um, so I just put my thumb right up here into kind of the edge corner area. Pops right out. Pops right out. Pops right out. 
Um, reverse flick is money. You have a lot of real estate. You can go up into the corner here, flick it out. You can go in the middle, flick it out. And then you can even go down here onto the fuller and flick it out. Um, now it's nice because the frame lock, it's almost like a subframe lock, kind of like a bolster lock to where you have, you know, you can put your, so for lefties, you really can flick it nice because um, you can put pressure with your thumb on that area because you have the inlay having a nice structural sort of landing area for you to go on. So it works really well for the lefties, um, which is nice, but you can slow roll it out nice and easy. Uh, very smooth on those bearings and of course a three and a half inch blade you're going to get some nice drop um, dropability very very smooth bangs open drops to your nail some micro shakes just super duper smooth or drops to your nail one shake in your home just a blast to fidget with really really fun super smooth love the hole love the reverse flick love love playing with it so um Action is getting a five out of five. Uh, next up is acoustics. And I know acoustics is kind of a wishy-washy subject for me. I never really rank my acoustics that high. Um, and, you know, while this isn't the best, it, it's pretty dang good, guys. You get some nice, you know, thwacks from the opening. Um, but similar to kind of like the, it's been like a theme in my last couple of reviews with titanium knives. You really don't have those high pitched tings. Um, they're good. You know, they're nice snappy thwacks, which I really, really enjoy. But with a titanium knife, you kind of look for those, those high pitched tings. Um, you just really don't get it here, but you really do get great thwacks from, from the middle finger flick, from the thumb flick. Um, just very snappy action, you know, makes for a very solid acoustic. I'm um, just really looking for those high pitched tings. Um, so I'm going to give this, I'm gonna give it a four. Um, I'm gonna try to be fair, I'm trying to, you know, balance out my review. I'm trying not to be super biased on it. So I think a four is pretty adequate. Um, next up is Ergo's. Ergos on this knife are super duper comfortable. Um, so it's, it's a bigger knife, you know, four and a half inch handle. I can get all four fingers on here very easily. Don't feel cramped or anything like that. Um, have a little bit of the knife sticking out of the back right there. You have a nice ramp for your thumb with jimping. You also have jimping out here on the, you know, sort of midsection of the blade. And of course you have a choil, um, but choked back, your thumb lands right here on the ramp, or you can do it in a hammer grip. Works very, very comfortably. Um, and like I said earlier, these scales are, you know, contoured in just the slightest, so they have a little bit of an angle to them. Very, very comfortable. Um, the inlay is beautifully done. There is no, you know, it's pretty much flawless at the seams. You you can't really tell it, you know, it's two pieces put together, which is awesome. Uh, the pot clip is very, very, you know, it's, it's a milled clip, so you do have a little bit standing up, but it's very flush to um, the scale. And the only hot spot I can really think of is like back here on the edges where it's kind of, not sharp, but it's a little bit rough, I guess. Um, but luckily, you know, you really aren't touching those edges too much with your hand. And then of course, when you choke up, you get off that even more. Uh, and this is very, very comfortable. You have a very generous choil. Um, so fingers of all sizes can fit up here and your thumb can either land back here on the original or the first set of jimping, or you can land up here on the second set of jimping, um, which gives you great, great grip. Um, and you know, a foundation for doing push cuts through cardboard. Um, this thing is not going to leave your hand at all. The jimping is nice enough and, and sharp enough to catch onto your finger, but not sharp enough to, you know, rip into your finger, which is nice. Um, just, yeah, gives you great pushability for like push cuts through cardboard, which is what I typically would use this type of grip for. Um, but yeah, of course the clip is, well, not this clip, but they do offer lefty clips. Um, so you would just have those, over, you know, if you're lefty, you would have it over here, be about the same as it is for a righty. Um, but yeah, the Ergos are fantastic. Uh, another five, guys. You know, can you tell that I'm excited for this knife or not? Um, but next up is Carry. And while this knife does weigh a little over four ounces, you honestly can't tell. I mean, it's a decent sized knife. I'd say it's, you know, on the larger side of medium. Of course, you have a three and a half inch blade, four and a half inch handle, um, I believe eight and a half inches overall. 
uh, or eight inches overall. Um, let me see here. Yeah, eight inch overall. Um, so four ounces is definitely, I think, adequate for that. Uh, but this pot clip just works so well, guys. Uh, I really do think that, you know, if I had to rank pot clips that I've used in my life as, you know, from first to last, I think this one ha would have to be at least in my top three. It just, it, it looks so good from a, uh, you know, aesthetic standpoint. The fact that it's a milled clip mounts to the back, which is really nice. I love, you know, back mounted pot clips. Um, and it is just so thin. You have a little bit of a, you know, lip down there to catch on your pockets. And the fact that it goes to your butt end of your knife, it honestly looks like a pen um, pot clip or like a pen clip. But I mean, it you this thing sits so far down in your pocket. It's really, really nice. You have no sharp edges or flipper tabs or jumping down here to, you know, possibly catch on your hands when you're down in your pocket to grab something. Um, you know, I've carried this in my jeans a few times. I've carried this in my gym shorts just around the apartment and I think sweatpants around the apartment. Um, and even just throwing it in the pocket, you can't really tell it's there. Four ounces doesn't really make much of a difference at all. Um, just a, a great knife to carry. And that pot clip just really, really sells it for me. Um, I have to applaud you, Casey, for doing that. I think that this is, you know, as much as I love the design of the knife, the inlays, the blade steel, the materials, like I think an underrated design aspect of this knife that I don't know if too many people are talking about is just how awesome this clip is. And I really want to give you praise for that because I think you designed an awesome clip. I think concept, you know, um, you know, uh, not designed it, but they, they created the clip, I guess, from Casey's design and they did a really good job. And that's another five out of five. Um, so this is going to be a pretty, pretty damn high score. That sounded weird. Um, but this is going to get scored very, very well on my review process. Uh, and then last, but certainly not least, we have price point and value slash what I recommend this knife. Guys, this is arguably, well, probably my most anticipated knife of 2024. I am so pumped for this. So yes, absolutely. I can recommend this knife. Again, all the pre-order spots are sold out. So if you didn't snag one, I don't know if Casey is getting like another little bit of an order shipped into him for him to do like a blade show or, you know, on his own website. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I haven't heard much about it. Um, so it's kind of kept, you know, close to the vest Casey. I haven't, you know, he could have said it. I just haven't maybe, you know, picked up on it or I haven't heard about it. Uh, but that is unknown at this point, but yes, if you guys, if this, he ever does a, you know, another release of these, um, or you see him a blade show and he has a couple of these on his table for sale, please pick one of these up. You will not, rec or, you know, will not recommend it. You will not regret it. Um, just a fantastic design. And well, I didn't even talk about the price yet, guys. Um, you know, if you were to tell me that an S90V knife with titanium and either carbon fiber or fat carbon inlays would be $200 for pre-order, I would tell you you were nuts. I think that that is a fantastic value. I, I, you know, before he said the price, I was thinking that this was going to be like a $250 to $300 knife. Um, and I was fully prepared to pay that. And when he said and came out with the fact that it was $199, so $200 for, again, three and a half inches of S90V, a beautifully milled titanium frame with, you know, either carbon fiber or fat carbon inlays, um, great ergos, great action, great carryability, awesome pot clip. I think that's an outstanding value, guys. Um, and spoiler alert, it's going to get another five. So I can already tell you right now, um, you know, without even adding up, I have all fives, but one, and that is the acoustics getting a four. So this is coming in at a 34 for the Tempest Knives Practice Proto. Um, I think, you know, it's, it's as close to a perfect knife as you can get. If you just had those high pitched things in there, it would be a perfect knife. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's up there with some other really good knives. You know, you have the, the Devo Knives Nip, the Voss Steve Raccoon, the concept Loki all scored 34s. Um, and this is definitely, you know, it's just so good, guys. Uh, but real quick, I wanted to go over some changes before I let you guys go. Um, so the clip is going to be thicker, um, which is changing from one millimeter thick to 1.2 millimeter thick, maybe for just some more added stability, which is really nice. Um, of course, you're going to have a left sided clip available. Um, so lefty should email him after ordering, which I'm sure most of them did already. Um, inlay screws. So the small T6 screws on the inlays will be black, which will look nice. Um, lock bar chamfer. The lock bar face will have a chamfer added. Um, there's a picture on here that I can see, but so just a little bit more chamfering to give you guys a little bit more access on the lock bar, which is nice. Um, the pivot will be tooled on both sides. So I guess this is not tooled, but it will. Um, just to, you know, uh, that's how the pivot will be 
um, use, I guess. Uh, rattling. All the protos rattle when shaken. This one really doesn't. I never really noticed rattling. Um, the top stop pin will be made to fit better and not move around. And then for jimping, the forward passive jimping is being moved back for use in the choked up grip. Um, so this jimping up here is going to be like it. So where the jimping starts right now, this will be where it ends. So it'll be like right back in here. Um, some Just some real small subtle changes um, that'll just make the knife you know, more comfortable, more user-friendly, just a little bit better all around. Um, but as of right now, if he were to sell the, you know, this exact version, I will still think it would be fantastic. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to wrap this up now because I think I'll be talking, you know, almost 21 minutes here. So I've taken up enough of your guys' this time. Uh, but this was my full review on the Tempest Knives Fractus Proto. One of the best knives of 2024. Can't wait to get mine in. Casey, you are a genius. Love this design. Love you, man. You are fantastic. Um, and just a gem in the knife community. And I uh, can't thank you enough for, you know, giving these into the Lefty Passaround group for us to check them out early. So uh, drop a comment down below. Did you guys pick up one of these on the pre-order? Um, if you did, what version did you get? Um, and yeah, I'd love to hear you guys have to say. But I'm going to wrap this up now. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your morning, day, evening, night, whenever you're watching this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.